Hi, you all. It's uh, Sarah Traub here with Sarah's World. And on Facebook, Silhouette Crazy Crafty, I just wanted to uh, answer. I had several people message me and they said, How in the world do you like wrap like a font around like a circle or like a shape or a line? Or um, And can the software even do that? Well, yes. Yes, it can. Drum roll, please. I'm going to show you how to do it. <laughs> it's actually really super simple. You'll be like, oh, as soon as I show you. Okay, so I'm going to go select a shape. I'm just going to select a circle here. Draw a big, purdy circle. Okay, and then I'm going to go to my font, my text, and I'm just going to type out something. Okay, and he'll appreciate that if he ever sees it. <laughs> And I'm just going to fill in a color. Don't really worry about this part of it. That's not what I'm trying to show here. Um, but I'm just going to fill it in so you can see it. Okay, so I'm just going to double click the text box. You know, like when you go in, if you need to like make an edit or something like that. And I'm going to select this little circle icon here. It looks like uh, two little arrows and they're uh, making a little cross. I'm just going to select that. And this allows you, if you left click, you can just drag it around your map. So see that? All right, I'm, I'm holding down my mouse button right now and uh, moving the mouse with my other hand because um, I'm on laptop, so it's like a button and a little, anyway, touchpad. So I'm going to slide this right down to my shape, and it's going to just kind of lock into place. It's kind of fun. I kind of like doing it. It's going to just, there. It just clings right into place to your shape. I can lift it up. I can lay it right back down on my shape. And so it is going to actually go, and I'm going to adjust it here uh, to the curve of this. Now. Here's one thing where people get a little bit stuck, is when they go to resize it, they get a little bit frustrated. So some people know how to do this, but when they go to resize it, they select their shape like you normally would do, and now I'm going to resize it. But when you resize it, you're resizing the circle, and you have to remember that the font or the wording is actually clinging to the circle. So if the circle grows, the font is going to stretch out. Like, I mean, I can do an oval and it's going to cling to whatever is there. I'm going to undo this really quick and make my circle again. If you want to avoid um, it resizing or the, the font shifting around like I just showed you, here's how you would resize. Say I want to make this to the size of my map. Right now if I do it, it's going to make the, the font move um, with the shape of the circle. Okay, now if I wanted to resize it to the size of my mat, I'm going to select left click and select both of my images. And then I'm going to come down here to the bottom left and go to group selected shapes. That'll group it together and then I can resize without it moving my text or my font around. So, awesome. Okay, and then let me ungroup. And, okay, well it's going to, let's just undo a bunch of stuff here. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we are individual again. Okay, another thing too, because I don't know whether you're printing and cutting or whether you are cutting from vinyl, however you'd be doing this. Um, this line right here is obviously going to be like, you can see it. You don't want it to show up on like print and cut or anything like that. So I'm just going to show you. You can just come in here and make this disappear by just making your line color disappear. Now, that's not enough. If you're going to cut this out, Though you don't see a circle, the circle's still there. So I'm going to go up here to the open the cut style window. The little scissors cutting the red line. And I'm going to click on it. And okay, that's the thing. Is I was just making sure that my shape was not showing up to cut. Because um, I have no idea why it's not showing up to cut. But anyway, um, I did download a new software software. <laughs> correction today so maybe that's something that's funky with it but anyway just making sure that that shape did not show up the circle to cut because you're just wanting the wording or the font to show up in the art shape now here is a, another thing that you can do I'm going to double click this and remove it from my circle and then I'm going to delete my circle off the map okay so you can do any shape you could do like your heart from like your library I mean I'll, I'll pull it up oh my computer's going a little slow Oh, I looked up flag last. That's fun. I wonder what I was doing. <laughs> okay, let's find a heart. H-E-A-R-T. Oh, heart. That is not what I meant to do. <laughs> okay, 
So let's find a heart shape. If anyone's looking for perfection on my videos, watch a different video because <laughs> that's not going to be me. Um, okay, here's some heart shapes. I'm going to select those. And I'm going to pull it to the side here. And I'm going to ungroup just to kind of show you, you know, that you can do this with like the, the shapes and stuff too. Oh, and a heart so perfect for what I, I typed out too. My hubby is the best. Okay, sorry about that. Kodak moment. <laughs> okay, and then look, I can just clean this. Oh, that went to the inside. Let me do this. I can just clean that right to the um, the shape too. So I, I can take it all the way down and see, I'm having fun with this. Okay, so there you go. Now sometimes your um, font will like start to touch each other. Like, I don't know, the, the letters will be too close together or something like that. You can come down here and mess with your character spacing. Your character spacing down here is, um, let me let go of this and then select it. Your character spacing, this will space a space in between the font characters, which, okay, I didn't have that lined up good. This will take space away. And then this is line spacing. So this is like if I typed and then hit return and I had like several lines, I could put a space between the actual lines of the font. But anyway, so that shows you uh, placing it with a shape. Okay, and then here's something else too. You can also draw a line. I'm just going to do something random here. Okay, there's a line. Say I wanted to outline the side of some logo or something or, you know, I mean you could do that with an offset as well. But um, anyway, I can take this and I can also Okay, that's that's really fun. <laughs> I know it's a little buggy, but okay, for instance, here's something right here. I can do this one. I can click on this and I can do my character spacing on this. Okay. Cuz like it was too close together and like touching. So, I mean, anyway, this you just play around with it obviously, but this gives you an idea of how to get started when trying to wrap your font around like a curve shape or so also that allows you to to do things like this so if I want I'm gonna show you a little bit this is playing around with just designing and stuff in it because I know everyone's like a big thing about this machine is like okay I can do the shapes I can pull up a circle I can get the basics down but now how do I des design something with it because I mean I know it takes creative ability you know, to design something, but this will help you kind of just get an idea. Say I wanted to make a card and I wanted to just wrap my font. Okay, this is just gives you some ideas for how you would use font, the font wrapping. So boom, boom, I'm a font and I'm here to stay. No, okay, that's not font, the wrong kind of font wrapping. <laughs> okay. So this will show you, say I'm making a card with it. Okay, and then I'm going to come in here and make this go away. So see, that's a reason why you would use like font wrapping, something like that. It's really cute when you're doing like, um, I saw this little circle decal, and they had like the child's um, uh, initial in the center of the circle, and then they had like their first and their last name, and our first, middle, and last name in the center of the circle, and a big letter like the name was like Brandon, and there's like a giant letter B. And then around the circle, they wrote little words that like explained their child, like um, fun, active, happy, um, creative, you know. And it, they put it in their child's room. It was really cute. So anyway, um, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, post it and let me know. Thanks so much. Bye.